Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and in today's video, I've got a follow up to my very popular video on the new smaller DMD projectors and more cost effective units that's being released by most of the manufacturers. Um, here we've got the, the, the Barco S, uh, it's my favourite of all the ones that's coming out. Uh, and uh, even this site where I'm at, he's very pleased with it. He's going to get all his screens converted to this unit after what he's seen. Uh, it's of course the same beautiful DCI quality that we've seen with all our pro of the projectors, but it's in a nice, small, compact, and very cost-effective design. So uh, he's very pleased with that. Some of the comments I like that he says is that he likes the, how this unit is all metal. It's very professionally made um, and very seems to be robust and industrial. Is exactly what the, you know if you're going to be running this for for a long period of time this is the sort of feel and the sort of uh, the, the feeling you want to get from your manufacturer and the product that you're going to be installing so um, let's have a little bit of a closer look at it and um, yeah the Barco's S series here we are with a closer look up of the uh, in interface panel uh, in this unit we're actually still using the uh, integrated media block from a Dorome DCP2000 which is underneath the rack or in the rack underneath and we've got the control it's nice lit up with lots of um, buttons etc easy to see in the dark uh, and uh, yeah very much um, what you'd expect and in this unit we've actually got the control interface which is on the back here um, usually with a barcode you'd probably just get one of these and plug it in wherever you need it it's very powerful and uh, one of the other reasons I like the Barco because it comes with a lot of built-in tutorials to help you service a unit which is a very big part of owning these new projectors is the serviceability and servicing the unit so there's a DCP2000 underneath it driving the internal media block now typically these units are meant to come with the new IMS or internal media server which has got everything in it so hard drives and the computer basically there's a small computer uh, bundled with the the internal media blocks making it the internal media server so uh, it's looking very good um, the uh, the owner here at Metro is very pleased with what he's seen it's just playing some stuff out here from my demo um, you can see here the um, lens on the front it's a very small aperture lens because it's using the smaller um, DMD which leads to the more cost-effective pricing so yes very good and uh, one of the really good things about the Barco it comes with all the options the um, uh, the, the lens is all you know you can't the lens has always uh, got the controllable lens so it can change between sc scope and flat and uh, all the you know HFR and all these other options which are actually uh, options in other units they come with this unit you don't really get any options you get it and it has everything with it anyway um, thanks for watching my videos and uh, we'll try and get some more information when the when the new IMS comes out. I will definitely do a video about that, about some of the limitations of it, uh, and uh, when when it might be not be suitable. And you might still want to use this sort of combination of the um, uh, the media uh, the the external hard drive server with the IMS, uh, internal media block rather than getting the IMS. So yeah, thanks for listening to Sydney Ke for ja to James Gardner of Sydney Tech Geek, and bye for now.